Hey there, my name is Ruben and welcome to a special video. Uh, you know, a, a few years ago, I started talking a lot about tools uh, like Amplitude, Mixpanel, Google Analytics. And over time, the content has shifted a little bit, more strategic, more about people and process. But tools still matter to an extent. And companies and clients ask me all the time, what do you think about this tool? What about that? Is this gonna work for us? So in this video, I want to cover a little bit about Amplitude and I want to cover three things in particular. First, what is the, the 2020 position that Amplitude has based on futures, uh, copy, and where they seem to be going? Uh, second, how does a tool like Amplitude fit your stack? Uh, so if you're a consumer company or B2B or e-commerce, how well does it work for different industries and sizes? And lastly, how tools as a whole uh, fit into uh, a data strategy. Uh, so this is not so much amplitude, but look at the holistic picture. Now I'm gonna show you the website, the product, little things here and there, but this is not a comprehensive look at every little thing that amplitude offers. Instead, think about it as a strategic conversation on whether you should use a tool like amplitude or not and how I help companies think about it and the choices that they make around stacks and how Amplitude fits into the stack. So that being said, let's jump right in and I'm gonna share my screen and walk you through a few things. Great, let's dive into Amplitude. Uh, so this is something that uh, I use a lot and I think I spend a lot of time in this category, uh, whether it's Amplitude or Mixpanel and so on. Um, it's an interesting category, you know, so tools like Amplitude were designed to understand user behavior uh, and really geared towards software products, whether it's web apps or mobile apps. Uh, though I've, I think we've seen changes in how they're used, you could technically use them to analyze anything. You know, the, the data model behind a tool like Amplitude, this event-driven model, uh, we have events and event properties and user properties is quite flexible uh, and you can use it for almost anything. Uh, so there's been other cases, you know, other types of industries that have come on. Uh, I've always been fascinated by looking at media companies or finance companies that, that use tools like Amplitude. But fundamentally, you know, a lot of the case studies and, and testimonials and things you'll see here are software companies in some way or form. Now the Amplitude product, let me see, right here. Um, what they call the behavioral analytics platform. Um, it's been around for a couple of years uh, and it has a, a few major things about it. Um, you can slice through events. Uh, you can look at retention. You can build funnels. Um, if you go up to some of the paid channel, uh, paid uh, plans, uh, you have access to cohorts and What's new or what's recent is a lot of the machine learning reports. Uh, so trying to predict what's going to happen based on your existing data. Now, Amplitude uh, came into the, you know, into the market a few years ago and it, it grew quite quickly. Um, the product was really strong, uh, especially when compared to Mixpanel, uh, probably the, the, the closest competitor to it. Um, and he acquired a lot, you know, it, it, it did a lot of noise. Uh, looking right now in 2020, I think the, the product is still quite good, uh, but Mixpanel is also catching up. Uh, I'll do a video on Mixpanel uh, and show a little bit about that, but I think they're, the, the products are quite similar. In this days, when, when I have clients and we're debating between Amplitude and Mixpanel, uh, there's an understanding that either of them will do a really good job um, and it might be little things that, uh, that make the difference. Uh, on Mixpanel, the little thing might be, you know, the ability to send notifications, email, SMS, within the same platform can be quite helpful. Uh, with Amplitude, you have to use something else. And, you know, this, this, act, this actually, the product here, called Engage, uh, kind of helps you create uh, audiences or cohorts or, or just an, a group of people that you want to target. But if you want to send a notification, you have to use an external tool. So something like Braze or Iterable or something else, Intercom. 
Um, so a lot of companies already have this tool, so it's not a big deal, but that's one of the, the things that makes a difference, right? Uh, I also think that the price and the amplitude has can be a little bit more uh, approachable than, uh, than other companies. Hold on, okay, here we go. So they have a, a freemium model, a bit of a steep freemium model, right? So you have a, a free plan, uh, 10 million events, unlimited users, and you get all the basic reports, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Uh, in Mixpanel, you, you start paying right away, and in most companies, you actually you start paying for, by number of users right away. Uh, a lot of the more advanced reports are behind a paid wall, uh, which might be a few thousand dollars a year uh, started, uh, maybe actually maybe 10, 15,000. Uh, and that's already built upon. So the product itself, uh, and this is a demo that Amplitude has, uh, is uh, quite straightforward. So some of the, the basic reports, or what I consider basics is typically this three, segmentation, funnel, and retention. Uh, if you look at you know, segmentation, you, you take an event, you slice it, you trend it, things like that. Um, then, you know, funnel, I'll go back to this one actually. Funnels, multiple steps, see the drop off in between steps, and then retention is the cohort analysis. A lot of the, the things that actually make Amplitude special is a lot of their paid reports. So things like Pathfinder, uh, engagement metrics, uh, impact, uh, compass, and so on. These are actually reports that when Amplitude came out, there were no equivalents anywhere else. So if you, if you wanted them, you had to go with Amplitude. These days, as I look at this list now in 2020, I can now think of the equivalent that Mixpanel has released recently and that other tools are releasing, right? An equivalent to Pathfinder, an equivalent to Impact. Um, so that's why I'm saying the, the gap in between the products is closing. Um, but Amplitude as a standalone is still a very solid pro uh, uh, product. Uh, some of the things that make Amplitude unique uh, that I still haven't seen anywhere, um, something like accounts, you know, they, they built this idea of account level analysis for B2B and integrating with Salesforce, that's, that's, that's unique. Portfolio, uh, having all your products in a single view, right? Um, some of the things you could maybe hack into other tools, uh, so it's not completely out of the question, but it's built in. The taxonomy actually is, is uh, quite good in Amplitude. Uh, I've seen other products catch up to it a little bit, but their the ability to manage data governance is, is quite strong. Um, uh, scale is also something I haven't seen as much in other products. So the you know the, the product as a whole, as I mentioned, very strong, very good product. Um, uh, I think if you the the factor that would say if you, if you want something that's just analytics driven uh, that can play well with your stack that is you you have some of those providers already in place like Brace or Intercom, um, Amplitude has a good case here. You know they they're very strong analytics wise. Uh, there's a lot of little details that are in the reporting aspect of things that I think make it stronger than uh, a mixed panel, um, and that's where I think it will win. If you want something that's a little bit more comprehensive. Uh, especially with with notifications and things like that, uh, then something like Mixpanel would would make more sense. This is of course two players in the space. Uh, you might see something like Heap. Also, um, when you think about a tool like Amplitude, you might also think about SQL and and custom analysis like SQL and like Looker or something like that. Um, that could also be a possibility. But remember that uh, tools like Amplitude are designed to be self serve. So they're designed to be used by users who might not know SQL or might not be uh, a developer, but they, they want to be able to access data and use it on their own. Now, in terms of the space, uh, the space is uh, maturing. Uh, and just like in, in other videos, what I'm seeing as, 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 as the space matures and companies mature, the difference between the companies uh, is smaller, right? The, the difference is today. 2020 between Mixman and Amplitude are definitely much smaller than they were a year ago. Um, and I think it's just a matter of, of Mixman not catching up and then building their own things uh, and Amplitude try, trying to decide what they want to do. Things like privacy are not as a big concern for, for tools like Amplitude. 
you can track data in many different ways and you can sort of get around JavaScript block-in or maybe even um, some of the other block-in methods. Um, so not something that, that really matters here. Uh, I'd be interested to see where this space will go. You know, I uh, for the rest of this year, I think integrations will keep playing a big role for these companies, um, making sure that you can send data in between stacks and this engaged product that Amplitude has to think is part of it. Take some of your insights and easily send them to some kind of email campaign. So I think that's, that's going to continue. I think some of the machine learning will continue to become more accessible. Um, so building more reports that leverage it and that make it easier to understand and to, to use some of those models. And I think that's, uh, that's sort of where the space is going. You know, it's some interesting developments. Um, but uh, as it stands right now, they're a very solid product. Um, I, I love using it. I use it with some of my clients. Some of my other clients use Mixpanel. Uh, I, I find it's, it's just a slightly different feel to it. Uh, but the, the product as a whole just uh, feels great. And it works quite well on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, lastly, I uh, want to help you understand how something like Amplitude fits into an overall data strategy. Um, so I like to think about the three P's. And when I work with clients, I, I really want to work from a bottom-up approach. Uh, so start with people. So who's, you know, who's going to be using data? What kind of format do they want it in? Um, with Amplitude, we're thinking you know, mostly non-technical people. Um, they may not know SQL, but they want to access data. So something like Amplitude is a little easier to learn and understand. We have dashboards. Uh, we can send those as uh, uh, on a recurrent basis. Then we have process. And process is the, the ability for a team to find insights, to, to work through the data, uh, answer questions, and then do something with them. Um, in this case, it, it, it comes down to training and a few other things, but understanding how a team is going to be using data and how it's going to fit into any existing processes. And then lastly, we have providers. And providers is where Amplitude fits in. Uh, so once we go through people and process, then we can say, based on that, a tool like Amplitude is the best fit, or maybe something like Mixpanel, or maybe something else, maybe something custom, like a data warehouse, uh, plus uh, mode or Tableau or, or something else. Most companies go top to bottom, uh, as you can imagine. So they think tool first, and then they just sort of fit it in and, and, and hope it works. Uh, but that, it's, it's tricky. You know, it's, uh, it's not, uh, it doesn't always lead to success. Uh, and if you've ever seen a case of a company paying, you know, upwards of six figures for something that never, no one ever uses, like uh, a software tool that no one ever uses, it's probably why. Yeah, it started with this unusual top to bottom approach. And that's, that's really it. Um, so great product, uh, one of my favorite products. Uh, I think it's a great company. Um, you know, got a chance to meet some of them. Um, so really solid when it comes to product analytics and just analytics in general. Uh, check out the video mix panel, see some of the minor differences that 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 might come into play. Uh, but if it's something you consider and it's uh, it's a solid choice. If you have any questions, post them in the comment below. Uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. As always, my name is Ruben. Talk soon.